Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Hallelujah to the King of Kings. And hallelujah to the Lord of Lords. Bless the Holy Lamb of God. Lord, we praise you, we glorify you, we thank you for this is the day that you have made. We are rejoicing, we are being glad in it. Hallelujah to your name, O oh God. We bless you. Lord, we quiet our busy day, Lord, before you in the name of Jesus. We ask you, God, to forgive us of our sins and wash us from all iniquity, all things that we did or said or heard or participated in that was not right in your sight. We ask for forgiveness. We ask you for your loveness and your kindness and your gentleness to just be upon us and in us and all around us, God. Lord, we ask you, God, to straighten our lives out. Everything that doesn't look like you, sound like you, is not like you in our lives, we ask you, Lord, to remove it, Lord, and make it right for us, Lord. Turn things around, Lord. Turn things around and make it right in the name of Jesus. Lord, we just rest in you tonight. We ask you, Lord, for your healing, your deliverance, and those of us that are not saved, we ask for salvation. Lord God, those that are sick, we ask you, Lord, to touch their bodies from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet and wash away every bit of sickness right now. In Jesus' mighty name, we command sickness and disease to leave the body in the name of Jesus. And we ask you, Lord, for your healing virtue to flow right now in the name of Jesus. Let your healing virtue flow through the airways and the highways and the byways and touch the people right now in Jesus mighty name we rebuke sickness and we bind it and we loose it from its assignment against the people and against from against our bodies our minds our spirit we ask for healing in the name of Jesus in all areas of our lives whether it be physical financial or spiritual we ask for healing. Everybody has a need. Lay your need right here on the altar. In the name of Jesus. And let God heal you right now in Jesus' name. In whatever ever area it is that you need your healing and deliverance in. In Jesus' name. Father, we ask you, Lord God, to pave the way for us. Lord, make the whole way straight. Let us see clear and let us hear clear your spirit and what your spirit is telling us to do in every season of our lives. We ask you, God, to let your spirit manifest in and through us. Let your Holy Spirit reign in and through us. Let it be more of you and less of ourselves yes lord teach us how to be selfless and allow you to reign have your divine way you are the potter we are your clay mold us and make us after thy will while we are waiting yielded and still we are waiting yielded and still still believing Still receiving from you, oh God. Still hearing your voice, oh God. And still being obedient to your call. Yes to your will, yes to your way. Yes to the directions that you will say. Here we are, Lord. We say yes, Lord. Heal your people in the name of Jesus. Heal every situation in the name of Jesus. Bring us through, Lord God, mightily. Bring us out of every situation with a testimony of how great 
and gracious and good you are. Thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray for our family members. We ask you, Lord, to touch and heal all of them, Lord. Keep all of them safe from harm and danger in the name of Jesus. Those that are not saved, we pray for their salvation. We pray that every one of our family members will come into the kingdom and be saved, Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let none of our family members be lost in Jesus' name. Let them come on the path of righteousness. Let them hear your voice. Let them hear you calling them into the kingdom. Let them hear you say, come out of darkness into the marvelous light. Open up their heart that they will hear. Open up their heart that they will repent for the remission of their sins. Oh God, help each and every one of us, Lord, to stay focused, Father, on you. Let us not be distracted in the name of Jesus. But let thy will, not mine, be done, Lord. Let your will be done, Lord. We wait on you. And we ask you, God, to renew our strength. Let us mount up with wings as eagles. And let us run and not be weary. And let us walk and not faint. Yes, Jesus, we thank you. Touch our children, Lord. Help them in their schooling. Keep them safe from all diseases and any uncleanness. Watch over them. Take care of them. Build a hedge of protection around them in Jesus' mighty name. We commit them into your arms. Have thine own way, Lord. Touch our children and keep them, Lord. Keep them as the apple of your eye. And watch over them, O oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for touching our co-workers and our neighbors and all those that we're going to meet in the streets and on the buses and trains and in the supermarkets and the stores. Bless them, Lord. Let the Holy Spirit that's in us, Lord, touch them and heal them in all areas that they come up to us that they need healing with, Lord God. You know their prayers, you know their cries, and you know their situations. Everyone under the sound of my voice, you know their prayers. You know what they're coming to you for, Lord God. Meet them right where they are and meet those needs, Father. According to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Meet my needs also, my family needs also. According to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And have your divine way in our lives, O oh God, as we yield to you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for hearing the prayers today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen and amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I give honor to the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I greet every one of you in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for coming on to the broadcast of Gentle Breeze Worship Ministries. I pray for you that all your needs will be met in Jesus' mighty name. God bless you. And may the Lord strengthen you and heal you. And bring you through in Jesus' name. Amen. Good evening. God bless you. We're going to go into the word of the Lord and we're going to look at what God says about hearing and seeing. We have to hear his voice and we have to see what the spirit of the Lord is telling us to see and to do. We have to get that divine revelation from God. We got to be able to understand what God is saying in our seasons and in our walk with him. Hallelujah. Turn your Bibles to Matthew chapter 13. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Matthew chapter 13. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside and great multitudes were gathered together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat and the whole multitude stood on the on the shore and he spack many things unto them in parables saying behold a sower went forth to sow 
And when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowls came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. And some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprung up and choked them. But other fell into good ground and brought forth fruit, some in hundredfold, some sixtyfold, some thirtyfold. Who have ears to hear, let them hear. Now here the Lord is saying, if we have ears to hear, spiritual ears to hear, hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. We have to have ears to hear in the Spirit of Jesus Christ. And when we have ears to hear, we have to do what the Lord says to do. We cannot do what we don't hear. He says, he that hath ears to hear, let him hear. Open up your spiritual ear and hear what God is saying about the different types of soil that the word of the Lord is being sown into, even in this exact day and time. God has sent his ministers of the gospel to sow seed all over the earth. And there's going to be different types of ground that's going to receive the seed. And here the Lord, he was talking to multitudes, great multitudes of people gathered together to hear what he was saying. And here in the earth, there's great multitudes of people that's going to hear what we are saying. But not everybody's going to hear because not everybody has ears to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying. Some people are going to hear the word of the Lord by the wayside. When the word of the Lord, which is the seed that is sown into the heart of that person that has a wayside heart, the Bible says that the fowls came and devoured them up. The fowls come and devour up the word of the Lord that is sown into people that hear by the wayside. Those are people that hear by the wayside. The word don't sink deep inside. It falls by the wayside. Therefore, it's able for the birds to devour it and eat it up. Therefore, that person that hears by the wayside didn't really hear it good. It didn't sink deep in the heart because it was by the wayside. It wasn't on the inside, but it was by the wayside. It was far away. It wasn't digested into the heart. It wasn't in good ground. And another type of person that the word of the Lord will be sown into is going to be the stony places. Those that hear the word of God in the stony places don't have much earth, meaning the heart ain't soft. The heart is like stone. So the word can't go in and take root. That's the stony heart listeners. They have a stony place in their heart. This, it's not soft and tilled like the soil that is rich with nutrients to receive the seed of the word of the Lord because it's so hard, it can't receive it. So the Bible says that they spring up because they had no deepness 
of earth. The word springs up out of them because it never went down into the deepness of the heart. It never took root. It didn't have no place to go down into because the heart was so hard that it just sprung out and just fell somewhere else. It wasn't able to go inside that person's heart because that person's heart was so stony. It was not able to receive any of the seed of the word. And therefore, the Bible says that they had not much earth and forthwith they sprung up because they had no deepness of earth. The word just sprung up because it didn't have no deepness of heart to go into. It just went out of the person because it wasn't able to take root into the person's heart. That's the second type of person that hears the word. And the third type of person that hears the word, hears the word with thorns. They have a thorny type of heart. The Bible says that it fell among thorns and the thorns sprung up and choked them. The thorns choked the word out of that person's heart because it had so many thorns in it that when the word went in, it couldn't take root. It was choked out. There was every reason for them not to believe and they just choked out the word and it just choked out and went away. It couldn't take root. Now that the stony heart person, heart was like stone and didn't have much earth. So it sprung up because he had no deepness in his heart. And when the sun was, was up, they were scorched. And because they had no root, they withered away. That stony heart person, the word got scorched because it never went in. That thorny heart person choked the word out of himself. Didn't receive. Choked it out with those thorns. And that person that was the wayside hero, the word fell on the wayside. The word didn't get on the inside. But the word fell by the wayside and the birds devoured it up. And the fourth type of hearer is a person that where it falls in good ground and it brought forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. That's a person with a good heart to receive the word. They receive the word and they begin to bear fruit in different amounts. The more word that person receives in the good ground, the more fruit they bear. The Bible says the one where the, where the seed fell into good ground will bring forth fruit, some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Some a hundred percent, some thirty percent, some sixty percent fruit. The heart is the key to receiving what God has for you. If your heart's not right, you can't receive the word. There's four types of hearts. The wayside heart, where the birds devour the word because the word fell on the wayside. The word didn't go deep into the heart and take root. Then you have the stony heart that the word fell on the stone of the heart. And it wasn't able to take root. So it bounced off and fell to the ground and got scorched 
by the heat. Never took root. Never able to bear fruit inside their heart because it never took root because the heart wasn't fertile. The heart wasn't pliable. The heart wasn't teachable. The heart wasn't reachable. Then you have the, the, thorn, the thorny heart, the heart full of thorns, the one that's angry, complaining, never believing, never receiving the word of the Lord, forever hearing, but every time they hear, they find a reason not to believe and then find an excuse. And the word gets choked. And then the word leaves. Gets thrown out of the heart. It can't take root. It gets choked right out. And then the fourth one, the fourth type of heart is the heart that we want to have. The heart that is pliable. The heart that is teachable. The heart that is soft. The heart that is humble. The heart that is reachable. The heart that will hear God. The heart that will hear the voice of the Lord. The heart that will hear God's word. The heart that will receive God's word. The heart that will believe God's word. The heart that will bear fruit. Multiple amounts of fruit. Our aim and goal should be to produce a hundredfold fruit. But the Bible says some will produce a hundredfold, some will produce thirtyfold, some will produce sixtyfold. A hundred percent, sixty percent, thirty percent. I want to be a hundred percent fruit bearer. We got to open our heart to receive God. We have to open our heart. And let it be pliable and teachable and reachable. And let God touch us in a way that we've never been touched before. He can only touch us through his spirit. And his spirit is his word. And his word brings life to us. And we want life and have it more abundantly. And bear fruit in our season. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will have the heart that is soft. And the heart that will receive God, the heart that will receive his word, the heart that is pliable and reachable and teachable, and the heart that is filled with love. God bless you. May the Lord strengthen you. And thank you for coming on to Gentle Breeze Worship Ministries Intercession on Sundays at 6 p.m. God bless you. May the love of the Lord strengthen you. And continue to be teachable, continue to be reachable, and continue to have an ear to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying. Hallelujah. God bless you, and have a wonderful week in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. Be blessed. God bless you. Amen.